Hello everyone. So in this uh, lecture, we will see uh, a case on regression analysis using a spreadsheet. So we have this case. Uh, in this case, data analyst at a bicycle company, uh, the regional sales manager uh, wants to assess the sales performance of six sales representative over the past six months. The following data has been provided for your analysis. The company wants to understand the relationship between advertise, uh, advertisement expenditure and uh, sales perform the following task. So this is the data and the first thing using a spreadsheet conduct a simple linear regression analysis where sales is a dependent variable and advertisement expense expenditure is uh, is the independent variable. So there are two things first is sales and second is advertisement expenditure this sales as dependent and this advertisement expenditure as independent variable and we need to conduct a simple linear regression analysis using Excel. So in this data set uh, this column is uh, this column is sales this column is advertisement expenditure. So this is the dependent variable the sales is dependent variable and this advertisement expenditure as independent variable this is considered as y and this is considered as x. Now you need to conduct a regression analysis I have given hint also. So first we will go in data then go to data analysis and then go to regression. So we will click on data and in data option you will see this uh, data analysis option. So click on this data analysis. After clicking on this data analysis, you will see these multiple options. In this, there is option regression. So you can double click on that or you can uh, one time click on that and then click on OK. Then you will see this window. In this window, we need to select values as we have already selected some values are there. So, okay. So this first block is input range. Input range means you need to put your data related to your dependent variable. In this case, dependent variable, we have data of sales. So we will click on this sales block and then we will select this whole column by using control, shift and downside arrow. So you will uh, select this whole column and in this input X column, input X column, we will uh, put the data related to independent variable. Now the independent variable is this X advertisement expenditure. So again, we will click on this block and then control shift and downside arrow and we can select whole data. So this first is your dependent variable. This second is your independent variable and now you will see this option label. Okay. So as we are uh, selecting data from this heading uh, column heading. So we will click on this label, otherwise we will not click on this label. If we are selecting data from this first value, then we will not click on that label. So as we are selecting data with this uh, heading block, so we are clicking on this label. Now you need your output on same page, same sheet. So we are clicking on this output range. If you need to uh, find your solution on another sheet, on another Excel sheet, another sheet, so we will click on this uh, second option and if you need your data, uh, your result on new worksheet or new Excel sheet, so we'll, we will click on this one. But we need uh, the result on this same Excel sheet, so we are clicking on that output range and then we will select one block. Click on this and we will select any block where we can uh, put our analysis. So we are selecting this block already selected there. And now we will click on this line fit plot because we need to generate equation also. So then, okay, <laughs> then you will see this analysis as a result. So this is the first task. This is the regression analysis uh, by using Excel. Now this second question. In this second question, we have to do uh, write down the regression equation in y equals to a plus bx format 
for the data where A is the intercept and B is the slope. So there are two methods to do this task. So first method is from this diagram. In this diagram, first you will click on this diagram here, anywhere in this diagram and then click on this plus symbol, then you will see this option of trend line. So we are clicking on this option trend line and then this dependent variable is sales. So this is already on sales. So we, we will click on OK and then you will see this trend line. And after doing this to find equation of trend line, now we will click, we will uh, do right click and then click on format data series just a minute not format data series we will just click on write then we will see format trend line first we will put our cursor on this trend line and you can click double click on that or second option put your cursor on this trend line and click right and then click on format trend line. So you will see multiple options. So in these multiple options, you will see in last second last this option display equation on chart. So we will click on that and after clicking on that, you will see this equation in your chart. Now we will close this block. So this is the regression line. Now this regression line I am copying to explain. So this is the required state, uh, this is the required trend line and this is your answer for the second part I am putting there. Okay, now we can find this equation from this regression analysis also. So you will see two points. Uh, first is this intercept, second is this advertisement expenditure and you will see this coefficient. So this intercept coefficient 0 0.063 is considered as A and this second one is considered as B. This is the coefficient of advertisement. So in that way you can write this equation as y equals to A plus Bx. So as the equation is y equals to a plus bx. So you can write this as a equals to 0 0.6063105 plus bx. So b equals to in this case this 1.647902x. So this is the required equation. This is similar to this equation which is on graph. So your answer for the second part can be found from two sources. First is from graph and second from this regression analysis. So this is the answer for second part. And also you can write this as y equals to a plus bx form. So first you can write a, a equals to 0 0.631 plus bx, b equals to 1.6479x. So you can write this equation in this form also. And now the third part, Interpret the value of slope and explain what it indicates about the relationship between advertisement, expenses and sales. So I have written something uh, for explanation. So these, this is the area or the point we can say for explanation. So these are the points for explanation. Just a minute. So basically three things for explanation. First is this B is less than zero. Second is, uh, first is B is greater than zero. Second is uh, B is less than zero. And third is B equals to zero. 
Now on the basis of this, if b equals to 0, in our case b is not 0, in our case b equals to this 1.64 that is greater than 0, but if this is equals to 0, then you will not get this term, you will get this term as 0, if this b equals to 0, but in this case we have 1.64. So there is no impact on y if this term is 0, only you will have only this term. If this is greater than 0, then you will see this symbol not as plus, this symbol as minus. So you will see there is decrement in y as one unit change in x as one unit increases uh, in x then 1.64 decreases in y if this is negative symbol if this is less than 0 but if this is greater than 0 just like in this case this is 1.64479 uh, it will increase the value of y by 1.64 as one increase in x so we have b equals to for this case, we have uh, for three third part b equals to 1.6479 which is positive or greater than 0. So for greater than 0, our interpretation on the basis of this line. So if I can copy this. I have written this as if b equals to 3, but in this case, I am writing the result here. Okay, so I am changing in this only. So as the result is b equals to 1.64 something. This is 1.6479 something. So if b equals to this, it means that for every one unit increase in advertisement expenditure expenses, sales increase by three units. So not by three units. Now we will write by 1.6479 units. This suggests that advertise, advertising has a positive impact on sales. Why we are saying positive? Because as we are increasing this uh, x, then y is also increasing. That's why we are saying there is positive impact. So this is the answer for this second part. So this is the answer of second part. Uh, sorry, third part C. Now, the third part, evaluate whether the advertisement expenditure is a strong predictor of sales performance based on your finding. So, we will decide in this case with multiple things, but in this lecture, I am explaining on the basis of R square. So, this is the R square value and this R square value for this case is 0. 9846 So this R square value is this one. Now how we will decide uh, this is the strong predictor or not or advertisement expenditure is a strong predictor or not. So we will see this line first. If R square closes to 1 indicates that advertisement expenditure explain a large portion of variation in sales meaning it's a strong predictor and if this is closest to zero then this is not a strong predictor this means the value of r as this is a squared value so value of r lies between zero to one if this value is more than 0 0.5, if this R square value is more than 0 0.5, this means towards 1, then we can say this is a strong predictor. And if this value is less than 0 0.5, this means towards 0, then we can say this is weak predictor. So 
dependent variable is sales and independent variable is advertisement expenditure so in this case this 0 0.98 this r is 0 0.98 and this lies in this category this is more than 0 0.5 this is near to 1 so we can say for this case uh, this advertisement expenditure is a strong predictor so we will select this option as this is closest to one so this indicates a strong predictor so we can say this advertisement expenditure in this case is a strong predictor so this is all about regression analysis for this case study i hope you understand this concept using excel so please like this video and subscribe my channel ganit coach have a nice day